squads, both squads. Been been some fun ones over the years like that. Kind of reminded me of the the Houston game from a few years ago, as far as the temperature and the type of opponent. And in fact, it was a tough game and came down the fourth quarter. On November tenth, um, snow on November tenth. Um, is that the formula, though, offensively that you think is best right now for this team? You got Devontae with seven catches for 100 yards. You got both your running backs contributing. Um, maybe. <coughs> Any touchdown passes for you, but is this the right? Is this the formula you guys think you need offensively? I think this was the right formula for this team that we played tonight, but it it changes. I mean, that's the beauty in what we're doing on offense and what Matt and Hack and those guys, uh, Steno, you know, when they put together the plan, it's it's what do we feel best about this week, and we're going to do that. And, you know, I said a couple weeks ago, we've learned how to win different ways. You know, we've thrown the ball for 40 yards and a and bunch of touchdowns, and we ran the ball. You know, Jonesy has had multiple games with over three touchdowns now. I, I can't remember uh, the last time that's happened when I've been the starting quarterback. Uh, Tom? 1962. Thank you. 1962. <laughs> you were just very young. Yeah. Aaron, how do you feel about this team being 8-2 right now? Well, this is what we needed. For sure, especially with the bye coming in. I, thanks to Tom, I just read this note about us not having a bye this late since the bye started in 1990. Tom, thank you. So to be eight and two feels really good. Obviously, we've accomplished uh, the start that we wanted to get off to, and now we have a chance to get healthy. Um, I think overall we've been fortunate so far to not have a number of uh, major injuries, but a lot of us are nursing things that. Um, we have, you know, throughout the early part of the season, it'll be nice to get that week off. Uh, then obviously, the scotch tastes a lot better at 8-2 and two on a bye week than 7-3. Aaron, what does Aaron Jones mean to you? At this point, it's 10 games in. He's proven it's no fluke. He tied with Christian for the league leading touchdown. What's he mean to you guys? Well, I know that uh, Christian is a very talented player, and he's been mentioned uh, in the MVP race. So maybe uh, it's time to start talking about Aaron Jones. Aaron, I don't know if you need uh, Tom to help you with this or not. Did you, uh, did you think that that was the right call on the roughing the passer penalty in the end zone? Was that a deserved call? Well, I, I must say it's nice to be on this. Okay, and that is uh, Aaron Rodgers. There's more, but... Uh, I think that pretty much does it. He, he I mean that that was pretty much the gist of it and everything there, Dave. Um, yep. Any thoughts? It's just the fact that he's comfortable. He's not stressed at the podium like we've seen the past two years before 2019. Whenever he had to go up there under McCarthy <clears throat> or Thompson. It just looked like he was stressed, even in a win. It didn't look like he was happy, and now he's happy. He's actually able to explain things and not go through and just feel annoyed by reporters. Like, he's not that way at all anymore. Yeah, there's a definite different feel to uh, everything with him. So, it's definitely different, that's for sure. Uh, well, him saying that classic Green Bay game, I mean, the snow's falling, run game is working, he doesn't have to do much. It's classic Green Bay game. Yes, it is. All right. Well, you want to hear from Matt LaFleur next? Sure. All right. We got Matt LaFleur. Here you go, folks. That was a tough four-quarter battle. Uh, we knew it would be. Uh, you got to give the Carolina Panthers a ton of credit. I mean, we knew they were going to be a tough opponent, but uh, was really proud of our guys' effort. You know, we talked about them, to them going into this game about just leaving it all out on the field, you know, especially Browns with what we have coming up. 21-7. You know, being that we have a bye week ahead, uh, just wanted to make sure that we had no regrets out there tonight. And I thought our guys battled for four quarters. We talked about, you know, first – First and foremost, winning the football. We, we won the turnover battle 2-0, to zero, and then we talked about outrushing our opponent, and we, did, we got both of those done tonight. So it was a lot of credit to our guys. Matt, did you expect them to run it on that last play? 
Well, I, I knew that anything was possible. You know, the, there's four seconds left. It's the last play of the game. Uh, we, you know, we, I said something to Pat. They're going to pick their best football play. So that, that did not surprise me. I just talk about uh, just kind of the emotions of everything on the sideline. You were coming through there. There's fourth and ten. They convert. You think you have them stopped. The penalty keeps the drive alive. Just everything you guys were going through there as coaches. Yeah, that's that's life in the National Football League right there is it's a roller coaster ride and you gotta try to do your best to stay even keel and um but again that's what happens when you play a tough opponent and you gotta give Carolina a ton of credit. Uh we knew that they were tough coming into this game and I s I don't feel any different after this game. Were you fighting for the touchdown all the way, uh going into half? Yeah, I mean, that's why we went for it right there. And uh, unfortunately, you know, we didn't do a, a great job. And we'll have to go back and reevaluate the film, see if that was the right play call. But certainly, obviously, uh, in hindsight, it, it definitely wasn't. But, uh, you know, they, they came off the ball and they made a play. Is that decision based on, uh, sorry, is that decision based on analytic stuff from your analytics department? Or at that point, is it just gut feeling what you think is the right thing to do? Yeah, it was gut feeling. I thought we were getting some pretty good push up front all game long, especially up to that point. And I thought we could cram it up there for a yard, and it didn't work out. So there was, I know there was a lot of penetration on that play in the backfield. We didn't, we didn't even give ourselves a chance. Even though it didn't work out, what message do you think that sends to your team that you want to it? Yeah, I think it, it shows that we definitely trust these guys. Um, got a lot of confidence in the guys that we have. You know, up front, and again, unfortunately, it didn't work out. And you're pretty self-critical all the time. Are you sure that that was the right? Forget about the results. Are you confident that's the right decision there, though? Yeah, if I had to do it again, I'd I'd, I'd go for it again. It's just probably pick a different play. I, I would pick a different play. No, there's no probably about it. You know, um, but you know, live and learn. Under experience, and it's not even Thanksgiving yet, right? But for some of your players new at Green Bay, it's great to have that in their pocket as you get into later this season. It sure is, and I'll tell you what, it was a pretty cool experience. I mean, you grow up watching football, you, you can't think of a uh, a better atmosphere than a snowy Lambeau Field. And I thought, I thought our fans did a great job bringing a lot of energy tonight, um, and we certainly appreciate that. I think. Our guys feed off that energy, and, you know, we need that moving forward as well. You mentioned the way you ran the ball again, Aaron Jones, three touchdowns tonight. What more can you say about him at this point? Uh, yeah, just he's, he's been an, an incredible player up to this point of the season. And, uh, and Jamal Williams, too. I thought both those guys did an excellent job of, of breaking tackles, whether it was in the backfield or on the second level. And, you know, that certainly will make our offense – much tougher to defend if, if we can continually get that that type of run game going. Matt, what do you think today meant for Aaron? I asked him this week if he cared about the league leader touchdowns, and he said he actually really did. Did you feel like he had some extra juice seeing Christian on the other side tonight? Yeah, I mean, I shoot, I don't know. I just all work, all we are really concerned about is winning the football game and. However, we got to do that to get the ball in the end zone. That's that's the only thing I'm concerned about. How well do you think your uh, your team is built for days like today? You can see several more of them before the year is done. You're saying in terms of the weather conditions? Yeah, I, you know, I thought our guys battled, and um, you know that that is a home field advantage up here, having that that type of weather. Shoot, I, I said before the game, I wish it was about 20 degrees colder, but uh, no, I, I think our guys embrace it. You got one away, but you never really got out for a big one. Was that kind of the goal to keep him bottled a little bit? Yeah, you, you know, whenever you're playing a talented player like that, he's going to get his yards. And the whole key is tr to try to contain him as best you can because he is he's one of the elite players in this league. And I thought our guys, there were moments where, you know, we were giving up some big plays. There was a lot of bend uh, within our defense, but I thought, you know, we stiffened up again in the red zone um, and we made some plays. Now, why is that, or is that 
sustainable defensively? I mean, you guys are great at getting after the quarterback, turning the ball over, and in the red zone. But you, you have given up just a crazy amount of big plays. Does that seem sustainable to you defensively, or do you have to be better than that? Oh, we absolutely have to be better than that. And I think we'll be pretty critical of ourselves in terms of, you know, what we're asking our guys to do. This, this upcoming week will give us a pretty good look at uh, what we need to improve upon moving forward. We'll have a lot of time to, to self-evaluate. Last week, Devontae said he didn't feel like 100%. How did he look out there to you today? Well, just without watching the tape, he looked pretty good to me. Um, you know, he's... He's a dy- dynamic playmaker, and we got to continue to find ways to get him the ball. And you know, he made a lot of big plays for us tonight. Hey, Matt, what's uh, Jimmy Graham been kind of like this year, waiting for maybe a breakout singular play like the end? Yeah, J- I'll tell you what, I love Jimmy. He 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 brings great energy each and every day, and you know, I don't think he's worried about self accolades or anything like that or his stats. I think he's. He's invested in this football team, and all he wants to do is win, and whichever way that it has to happen. At times in the past around here, this offense, as well as far as Aaron and Devontae have taken them, but Devontae has yet to get a touchdown this year. Aaron wins his second game without throwing a touchdown pass. What's it mean to this team to not have to lean on them and still be able to win in different ways we can week out? Yeah, that's the one thing I, I really love about this football team is we found different ways to, to get it done. And that, ultimately, that's, that's the goal. And I know we say it and sound like a broken record, but we're trying to go 1-0 and each and every week. And we're able to get it done tonight. Do you know when we get to go into the room after the game? I saw you going around. It looked like each guy, giving each guy a hug, have a moment with them. Is that something you do every week? Is that more about just how tonight win? As a whole, going into the body, is that allowing us some? reflection on the fact that you guys are into a pretty special place? Yeah, no, that's something, uh, just to answer your first question, yeah, we always, I think the majority of our coaches, if not all of them, go around just to, because those guys battle and show the appreciation for, for what they do, what they put their bodies through, just the, the grind of the week. And it's always fun, fun win, lose, or draw. You, you have to do that. And uh, that is that is special about I think our football team is we got a lot of guys that care about one another. Um, but, yeah, as far as the bye week's concerned, again, just it's a great opportunity for us to, to really look at ourselves critically. Again, what we're asking our guys to do, and then how can we improve moving forward. You uh, want to know every week I saw the time. You have succeeded in eight of the ten weeks, though, and you are going in the last six games in a seemingly pretty good spot. Where do you think about where you are? at 8-2 going into the last six weeks of the season. Yeah, I mean, the reality is we're sitting in a pretty decent spot, but you can't take that for granted. As soon as you start getting comfortable, you're going to get beat. And so I know that uh, I think our, everybody within our football team will have that urgency to continue to press, to get better each and every day, uh, and not take it for granted because win- wins are so tough to come by especially when you get later into the season, in late November, December. And we've got a lot of great opponents coming up. Shoot, we have to play our entire division again. We, after the bye, we have to go out to San Francisco, who's sitting undefeated right now. Um, so there's a lot of good football that's in front of us. And we've got to continue to improve each and every week because, um, I mean, that's, that's, that's this league. If you don't, you're going to get beat. All right, we are back. So, what do you think, Dave, of what LaFleur had to see? Could you hear that decently? Yeah, I could hear it in a a faint, but I could still hear it a little bit. And what you told me even over the break is definitely there. He smiles at all the questions. He's ready to answer them, just full of positivity and that carries out through a locker room, especially when you've already put in every player buying into your mentality all the way down to practice squad. I just feel that he's confident with every answer. Like he could be lying to us and he's confident. 
Like it's and that's the thing is no folks he's lying. I'm just saying in the aspect he's confident in what he says. He believes what he says. Well. It-